In the last video, we managed to build our post fragment. So that's the fragment that I'm showing right here on the emulator. And now we were able to actually make posts. Now we need to work on the search portion of the app. So here I have the test application open. And in this video, what we're going to do is build this search bar for the top of the search fragment. And we're also going to build the layout for this, um, this filters activity here. So this is where the user will save preferences for the city or the province or state or the country that they want to search. And before anybody gets excited, I know you guys are going to start commenting about this. I, I understand that filtering this way is not a good idea, like saving uh, a, a city preference, a country preference, and a province, pr province preference like this isn't a good idea in a production app. But I didn't want to waste time integrating Google Maps or some other something else where a user could select their country, select their state or province, and then select their city because it would just take too much code. This course is focused on Elasticsearch, so I decided to just do it this way to save time. So let's, uh, we'll start off in, I guess I can close a bunch of these. We're going to start off in fragment search and I'm just going to paste in the layout here so that we don't have to sit here and watch me type it out. And I'm just going to walk through it quickly. So basically, oh, I need to bring in this icon and make that drawable file. So let's get those. So just go to my GitHub page and look up this, this project. The link is in the description and get the source code for fragment search.xml and also get it for this drawables file gray border bottom, which I'm just going to paste in here. So grab that and then we need to bring in this icon. So I'm going to right click on drawables, go to new image asset. I'm going to go to action bar tab icons and I'm going to call it IC search. And then I'm just going to look for the magnifying glass. I believe it's called search. Yeah, there we go. And let's see, we'll make it, we'll make it black. And there we go. So there we have our icon. So now that we have this layout, let's just quickly go over it. Basically all it is, is a, uh, we have a toolbar at the top. So this is what's not going to collapse. Cause remember we have that collapsing toolbar. So this won't collapse inside. We ha just have an edit text that says search. And then we have an image view for the search icon which is actually kind of big. I'm going to change the padding on that. So let's go into search. I'm going to delete IC search, deleting it. I'm just going to import a new one. IC search type search. And I'm just going to get rid of the padding or actually add some padding. That way it's going to be much smaller. There we go. So um, and then, then below that, we have a recycler view. And this is where all of our posts are going to be. This is going to be a grid style recycler view for when we actually do search for posts. But for now, I just threw that in here. And I can't remember if I uh, put in the recycler view dependency in a previous video. So we're going to need to actually grab that too. So here we're going to throw in the recycler view dependency. So we have com android support recycler view and then dash v7 26 plus or whatever version you're using we're not going to actually use the recycler view yet in this video but i just want to get the dependencies already so there we go we have our activity so now we're not going to do anything in search fragment yet um, what we want to build now is the layout for those filters so if we click on this magnifying glass it brings up this activity called search activity so we're going to build that so let's create a new layout file I'm going to call it activity search or activity filter. Sorry. And we'll make it a relative layout. And once again, I'm just going to paste in the layout just to save time. I don't think you guys want to watch me paste or build layouts. I find it very boring. Uh, so let's go right click on this drawable. We need to get this IC back arrow. Whoops, wrong button. So I see back arrow. I'll just type back and there's our arrow back and we'll change it to, we'll make, get rid of some of the padding and we'll change it to black or sorry, we'll add padding and we'll change it to black. There's our back arrow. So there we go. I think that's all we need in this layout. Looks good. 
Uh, once again, head to my GitHub page, get the code for activity filters, and just paste it in. But basically, all it is is you have uh, a bunch of text views. So this or edit text. This edit text is for a city. This edit text is for a state or province. And this edit text is for a country. And then there's a save button. And all we're going to do is save these filters to the user's shared preferences so that they can use them when they're searching for things. So now let's create search activity. So right click on the main package directory, or sorry, let's create filters activity. Filters, filters activity, or yeah, filters activity. And extend app compat activity. We can close this project pane over here. And we can do control O for getting the on create view on create method and set content view to that new layout that we just made. So activity filters. There we go. And let's get this log. And actually, before we start writing the code in here, let's uh, attach an onclick listener to that, that widget so that we can actually navigate to filters activity. So this widget right here, when we click that, that will take us to filters activity. So let's go into search uh, fragment. And we don't actually have anything in here yet. So we'll go widgets and then private image view M filters. And then we're going to create an init method. So I'm just going to go init. And let's see, M filters equals image view, view, find view by ID, r.id dot, oh, what did I call it? It was uh, IC search for a semicolon up there. And now let's create that init method. So private void init. And then we're just going to attach an on click listener to our filter icon. So set on click listener, new on click listener, and just say navigating to filters activity. So intent, intent equals new intent. And we want to get this context. So we just do get activity. And then we're going to filters activity dot class. And then we can just do start activity and pass the intent. And don't forget to add that new activity to the manifest since we've created a new activity now. So we need to add filters activity to the manifest just like that. And there we go. So now that will navigate us to the filters activity. Okay, so let's start setting everything up. So we'll start with the widgets. We have private button button save. Actually, we'll go M save. And private edit text, we have M city, M state province, and M country. And then we have private image view, uh, just the back arrow. Okay, now down into on create, on create here, and we're going to attach these to their IDs. It's going to give some more space. So M save equals uh, button, find view by ID r.id dot button save should be button save let's take a look at activity filters yeah it's button save for some reason it's not picking it up so i'm going to rebuild the project there we go now it's seeing it okay so now m city equals edit text find view by id r.id dot uh, should be input city and then m state province equals same thing find view by d r to id dot input state province and then m country edit text find view by d r to id dot should be input country and then the last one is the back arrow so we have the image view widget find view by d r to id dot uh, back arrow cool so there's all of our widgets and once again, we're going to have an init method that I'm going to create. So private void init. And inside init, we'll set everything up. So kind of the first thing we want to do when we first start the activity is retrieve any preferences that the user had saved previously. So you notice in this, in the, in the demo here, so if I was to, I don't know, change my country to, whoops, change my country to Canada and hit save, and then if I go back and navigate back, you can see it, it saves Canada there. So that's what we want to do first. We want to get those, those saved preferences. So I'm going to say get filter preferences. And then we're going to create that method down here. So private void get filter preferences. And this is where we're just going to get those preferences. So retrieving saved preferences. We'll say in the log. 
And so then we just do shared preferences, preferences equals preference manager dot get default shared preferences. And we just want to get the context. So filter, actually I can just say this. And I'll close this to give us some more space. So string country, this is going to be preferences dot get string. Oh, we need to actually set all of our strings. So let's go into our strings file and let's see shared preferences. So now let's create all of our key our keys for the preferences. So the first one we preferences country and then I'll just paste that same string into here. Whoops, I didn't copy the whole thing. And then we're going to have preferences state province and preferences city. There we go. So now we got all those in there. Now we can do for the country get string r dot string dot should be preferences. Huh? It's not showing up. Weird. Uh, I'm gonna have to rebuild the project again. For some reason, those IDs aren't coming through. There we go. It's coming through now. Preferences country, and then string state province. What's going on here? Oh, whoops get string got to use get got to use get string got to use get string twice here and then we also need to set a default value if it can't find it so state province this is going to be very similar so i'm just going to copy this line but this is going to be preferences state province and i'm going to copy the whole thing and this one's going to be city and preferences city so there we go now that's all three of our values that we need and then we can do m country dot set text to country and m state province set text to state province and m city set text to city there so that will get all of our preferences that were previously saved now we need to attach an onclick listener to the save button and save the new preferences if the user has uh, added new preferences. So we can do m save, set on click listener, new on click listener, and just do saving, whoops, log d, saving, and then we can do shared preferences, preferences equals uh, preference manager, get default shared preferences, once again the context, and we also need to get our editor because we're going to be uh, adding new things to shared preferences. So editor equals preferences dot edit. We're inside of an on click listener, so I need to reference the context that way. Uh, so let's see. So we can say the city equals m city get text to string. And then we can say editor put string. The key is r dot string dot preferences city. And then we want to just put the city, so m city get text to string. And then we want to commit to the editor, so editor.commit. That's it. So now let's copy this, and we're going to do this for the state province and then the uh, country. So m state province, m state province, state province, preferences state province. This one's going to be country, 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 and there we go. So that's actually all we need to do. Um, so let's run it and see if that activity is working the way it's supposed to. But before we do that, I forgot, let's just attach the onclick listener to the back arrow. So set onclick listener, new onclick listener, and just say navigating, navigating back. And then we can just do finish on the activity. Now let's run it. Okay, so here we are. We have the bar successfully setting up. Let's click the search widget. There's our activity. Let's just change the country to Canada. Hit save and hit the back arrow. Navigate back to it. And there we go. We can see that that country was saved. Let's set this to British Columbia. Hit save. Navigate back. There we go. So everything is saving. Great. So our search preferences are saving. And now in the next one, we'll work on setting up our Elasticsearch index 
So in other words, uh, taking the data that's in our Firebase database and feeding it into Elasticsearch so that we can organize the data and then search it. So I'll see you guys in the next video.